Okay, so as promised, finally we are taking a step closer to fighting in Europe. I've had a, finally got my order through. I got some paints here from Vallejo. I actually like these; they're quite quite good, and I like the dropper bottles as well. So this is to do my Germans. I did as well get myself a, uh, I think it's an uh, expansion set because I have got grenadiers. So I've got the Panzer. Four. I've got uh, the two five one ten pack half track, but I've got one of these already. Um, anyway, because you've seen it in the desert, but I'm going to have to paint this one for Europe. And is the German Grenadiers? I've kind of already worked out a thousand point army, and uh, well, we get quite a lot to be fair. We've got another tank here with a medium howitzer. We've got, which I, I read a lot on the boat action pages, people have pumas and stuff like that. So uh, I finally got one, it's come with the kit. And then of course in here we've got all the men and I've got the, um, I think it's the SG-44 uh, assault rifle. And like I said to you, and you might have said before, I'm not looking forward to doing the camouflaging, but we'll see how it goes. Most of these will just be sprayed grey, a bit of detailing, probably given a null oil wash as well see how it goes so that's us going into europe so i'll try and make them look something like that doubt i will because i'm not that good a painter but i'm looking forward to the fact i can have panzerfaust which means i can take out vehicles just in case jace decides to go down the bren route in europe as well which won't be fun at all um, so I'm thinking of fielding them in six-man units with a couple of um, assault rifles, a Panzerfaust and an LMG. If you've got any tips on the best way to field um, grenadiers, I'd be more than happy to hear. Um, like I said, I've got a thousand points already kind of worked out. But you do like I like the fact you get these little cards as well. I could be moaning about cards and I'm happy to get these. So yeah, so uh, that's the one I'm probably going to field. The Stug, I don't know how you pronounce that, and that's the one that comes with, yeah, the Howitzer, a three inch blast, so that's quite a nasty gun actually. And how much is that? 190, yeah, and the Puma is 160, yeah, that's what I thought I'd do. That's right. So I could do that one. I don't see the point. It's Defence 9. That's Defence 9. It's got a medium howitzer. Oh, heavy anti-tank gun, that's why. Hmm, don't know. Let's see how it goes. I'm not sure what Chase is field on. I know he's got commandos, so he might be limited with his vehicles. But we'll see how it goes. So I don't know whether the field is as regular or a veteran. But we'll see how it goes. And I've also got tucked in here somewhere as part of the starter kit. You get a, a pack 48. No, 48. Pack 40, sorry. Is that pack 40? Yeah, pack 40. And then, it's like Christmas, uh, we've got uh, an LMG. And then we have a mortar. Is that a mortar? Yeah, that's a mortar. And then I did buy... I can't find it. Oh, there we go. Uh, command squad. Well, not a command squad as such, but you know what I mean. And let's have a look. What is it got? I need to open it. We have got. What we got? I'm assuming that's going to be a lieutenant. Oh, another lieutenant. Oh, that's got to be a, a forward observer, surely. Looks like he's firing a flare up. Which makes this guy. Well, I'm assuming he's a medic. Yeah, it must be a medic. Right, that's cool. So, now you've seen it, the pressure's on. So get these painted in time for a new battle report. We have got um, a couple of new mats. Uh, one is just grass, and the other one is the classic uh, cobbled stone uh, mat with the areas where you can put buildings. Um, so what I'm going to have to do is, is see about either buying some buildings or see if we can knock up some... One's had a phone card and some 
lollipop sticks or whatever and just something so we can fight over so we won't go into towns as such just yet i think we'll be fighting around the hedgerows and whatnot just after the d-day lanterns i think that's what we're going to sort of base this time around the um oh, i can't watch called in the actual german army's book something to do with it. it's just after the fall of d-day so there we go guys so finally we are taking a step in the right directions we are going to get into europe okay so we'll try and keep you updated maybe post some pictures in the community section of paintings of the armies the units we've done and uh try and get this sorted as soon as possible until then happy painting guys speak to you later